Schmello, everyone. Welcome to yet another exciting post commentary at ed heavily edited gameplay video. Yer, <laughs> just what I asked Santa for. <laughs> so since I've kind of run out of ideas of what to talk about, and and besides, like I I feel like with actual gameplay in front of me, I could at least bounce off of that. You know, like work with what the game provides. Um, but since I, I don't have that, I decided to look up on Google, uh, hey, like, what were good conversation pieces? And that led me to the first link. Because, you know, like, the second page and the second link are for losers. <laughs> so I just uh, went with the first thing, and it's gifts.com. How to make a conversation. Yeah, basically, conversation starters. How to create a conversation jar. So let, let us make our conversation jar, fellows. Um, okay, let's see if they're any good. Uh, if you were in a circus, which character would you be? Ooh, I want to be the guy who gets thrown out of the cannon, you know? This is the thing. Night Warden, like, the, the person that people know who is Night Warden, I would never want to be the guy in the cannon. But this is not Night Warden. This is the carny, the, the one who was born in the carnival. I was molded by these people. <laughs> I, I did not see the popcorn line until I was a man. <laughs> you know, like, if I was born as a carny, I would volunteer for that. <laughs> um, what is the worst advice you have given? Um, huh, that's a really good question because that is, you know, we're going to skip that one. That's a very big box that I don't want to open. It's like one of the, it's the top box that you know if you push it in the wrong way, everything will spill out. <laughs> uh, what is the one thing you should never say at a wedding? Huh. Ooh, these are actually making my brain tingle. I have to think now. Uh, worst thing to say in a wedding. What is the worst thing you could say at a wedding? I don't know, maybe like, uh, maybe you, you, you got confused, you married the wrong twin? <laughs> like, wait, you're Jessica? I, I thought you were Rebecca. <laughs> Can, can't you guys just, like, combine together and become Rebecca? <laughs> uh, what was the worst pickup line you've ever heard? Damn, if only I, I... I have to ask because I remember my one of my friends was talking about that he heard one. And all I remember is my reaction to it, which is like, wow, that is awful. But I unfortunately do not remember what he said. Uh, if you could store one type of food in your pocket, what would it be? Easy pizza never goes wrong. You know, you can't go wrong with it. You don't like the toppings? Just take them off. You know, you don't you don't like the taste it leaves on the cheese? Just take off the cheese. You know, <laughs> and then forget about it. Just just uh, make your own style. <laughs> Uh, what is the worst present you have ever received and why? Huh. How much? Well, it depends on what present is, right? Because this is a thing. I have to be completely honest. And you, you, some of you are going to look at me pretty weird right now. But, like, uh, does a present have to be particularly on your birthday? Or on, like, you know, uh, Christmas? Cause, and I, I'm not talking about like, oh, he, I don't know, like, let's say, okay, like, for example, would it count as a present if, like, I bought free drinks for everyone at a, at a bar on St. Patrick's Day or on any, any given day of the week? I feel like that would count as a gift. Also, what, was it intended to be a gift or was it just someone trying to be nice or just, I don't know. Because, like, the worst gift I guess I've ever received uh, I don't want to say worse in a bad way. Just that, like, okay, the nicest, it was a very nice thing, I guess, but, like, this is the thing. Back when I was, like, in eighth grade, and, like, this is the thing. Every, back in my school, where I, my elementary school was basically, like, a small version of the high school where everyone else goes to, where what I'm trying to say is, like 90% of everyone who graduates from my elementary school where I went pretty much goes to this to a particular high school 
they're there it's like one of those like uh you know like sister schools this is like a, as if it was a little brother school where like pretty much all of the graduating class goes over there and like that that's what that was what's going to happen except i was going to an all boys school like i, I was going to a different school um and like i chose why because i didn't want to spend 4 years with those people <laughs> And pretty much going to that school, A, it was one I wanted to go to, B, I was actually uh, able to get in, uh, and C, um, well, I, I, well this, I, I didn't have to see anyone there again. Like It, it kind of, it was like a clean slate situation, which was refreshing. Uh, and like this is the thing, I don't want to get into that area of my life that much, but on that day on like it was it was the day of signing yearbooks and this is the thing uh they didn't want us signing the yearbook like they gave us a chance to sign afterwards but they basically passed around a sheet of paper where you were going to like everyone took out a sheet of paper and it made no sense because like they should have just passed around the yearbooks but they basically wrote get out a sheet of paper write your name on it uh in the middle and then everyone's gonna pass it around and uh, you're going to write one special message to that person. So like I said, I, they you could literally just swap the piece of paper for a yearbook. But uh, they just did it with a piece of paper. And uh, there's this girl that I liked uh, in the it, when you know when we were younger, like basically like when uh, I think she got there like in third grade or something. Uh, yeah, like I think she she joined our class in like third grade. So I I had like a a crush on her, and I I basically just abandoned that. Like I I I, I guess I could say I outgrew it. I just got over it. Uh, in fact, I actually slightly had a developing crush for another girl, but like my friend liked her, so I just kind of I kind of just I was I was going to a all boys school. I was going to another school district. So I kind of just thought of it like, uh, nope, not gonna, not gonna dirty my hands before I clean them. I'm just like, I'm just gonna let go, you know, <laughs> but this is the thing. It's still like, a, a I, I guess it's true. Have you ever seen those memes where it says boys always remember a compliment? Well, this is the thing on my paper. Uh, I remember she was one of the last people to sign it because like of how the seating arrangement was and she wrote uh that i well she thinks i have nice eyes and like this is a thing uh i don't know how to feel about that because like i don't know i it was a very nice compliment and like you know th you had your standard like uh oh uh, uh i hope you remember the good times or like hey i hope you have fun at your new school or like you know like uh, hey, we had some great times, you know, the very generic, like, I didn't really, we weren't really friends, we were just classmate kind of stuff, and then you had my close friends who are like, dude, I will never forgive, I will never forget, forget you, not forgive, <laughs> I will never for forget you, or like, uh, you know, we have to stay in touch, like, you know, all that stuff, and then it was just that one comment of like, I think you have nice eyes, and that just like, boom, like that, that that always stuck with me, and I'm like, I I think that was a in my eyes I see that as a present. It sounds kind of corny, it might even sound a little stupid, but I think I like corny and stupid, you know. At least to me, it's special. Anyway, like <laughs> a friend, of, like someone who knew, uh, like some of my classmates, like basically, someone um uh, actually like saw her on my Facebook. And I'm pretty sure she's uh, actually going out with one of our other classmates. It was like a... <laughs> like, I just want to mention this to get it over with. But, like, it was kind of like a bombshell. I'm like, whoa, those two? You know you know that kind of reaction where it's like, huh. I, I will... It's not even, like, to be mean. Like, I don't mean it like that. I'm glad. If anyone could find happiness, that that's, that's a solid yes for me. But what I mean is, like, I just never really... I, I don't know, saw it. Like, I'm like, wow good for them I guess <laughs> like I, I didn't expect that to happen I guess <laughs> if you were a farm animal which would you be and why 
Ooh. I think I would like to be... I'd probably be a pig. <laughs> I want to see what it's like to not sweat. In case you didn't know, pigs can't sweat. So, but I think I would be a pig. I don't know why. Just, just, re just walking around. You know. Oh, oh, oh! No, better donkey. I want to be donkey. <laughs> I want to be a donkey, Sh Shrek. I'm gonna make waffles. <laughs> yeah, not not because of donkey from DreamWorks Shrek. No, just I just want to be a donkey. Like. Those guys have attitude. I can respect that. <laughs> uh, what is the worst first date you've ever been on? Well, I suppose my first date is now destined to be bad. <laughs> because, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't really gone out with anyone. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds so sad. It's just, like, this is the thing. Like, I guess I just haven't found someone that I would like... I like to, like, just s state, like, hey... I want to settle down with this person potentially one day. I don't even mean in the terms of like I'm looking for someone to marry. No, that, I'm I'm young. Like that, that's kind of weird. If if I'm this young and I'm looking for someone to get married with immediately, no, just to like I, like the girls that I've had crushes on or I've thought of in that way, I kind of had to sit down and open my mind and say, yeah, I don't. Like this, w this could be fun or something, but do I really see her going that far? You know, <laughs> like you, you, I, I guess I just had to be real, uh, like a realist. I just haven't found someone uh, like that. I hope I do someday. Uh, have you ever stalked someone on social media? No, but I guess my friend did. If she, f <laughs> if, if he found, uh, if he found uh, the girl I was talking about earlier. Let's see. What is the best part about taking a selfie? Nothing, because I don't like taking selfies. Uh, if you could get anything illegal without getting caught. Oh, if you could do anything illegal without getting caught, what would you do? <sighs> oh. <sighs> this is a trap, FBI. The FBI is setting up a trap. <laughs> They're editing. <laughs> they're editing the article so I can confess. Nah, if I could do anything illegal, um, I guess I'd like rob Fort Knox or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just like rob all the money in the world. Just the biggest. Whoever has the biggest fortune in the world, I just steal their money. And like, just I don't know, Robin Hood that thing. Just like, uh, get get a wagon, a ye old tiny wagon and just throw money in the streets burn half of it and then throw the rest in into the air technically speaking that makes all the money i throw even more valuable <laughs> uh let's see well not valuable just like in percentages i guess of what is left <laughs> uh what is the weirdest food combination you've ever tried okay and denny's had this thing back in the day where it was a sundae that had caramel uh it was caramel vanilla ice cream uh and bacon they had this whole menu dedicated to bacon and i absolutely loved it oh man i i'm i'm so angry they never brought it back or at least i if if they did i never was able to go you know or I, i'm not aware of it but yeah I absolutely loved bacon with ice cream and caramel. I mean, like, dude, just hearing about it, like, it, it's like a heart attack in a, in a glass. But, hey, it, if I had to run, like, 15 miles on a treadmill, I don't care. Just get, just get me one of those. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did you have an imaginary friend? What was his slash her name? I did have an imaginary friend. Uh... It was like a giant snake thing. So <laughs> I don't think I ever gave it a name. I just called it Bluey or something. Like, you know, like Blue. And like, yeah, it was like this, this weird snake thing. Uh, I don't think I had him for that long, to be honest, but I can't remember well. Uh, have you ever had a dream where everyone was in their underwear? Oh, no, no, no. Like, 
this <laughs> this is a PG channel, sir. Like, I don't think I should talk about that dream. Well, oh, well, it wasn't bad, but it was pretty good. It's a pretty good dream, I suppose. Pretty good. Who is your favorite comedian? Um, let's see. I like John Mulaney, but but that's kind of recent. Like, uh, yeah, I, I kind of I I like his jokes. I, I like his style at least. He has a funny voice, <laughs> but. Oh, you know who's a very uh, good like favorite of mine? Um, in uh, what's his name? Uh, Fluffy Gabriel Ig- Gabriel Igl- uh, Iglesias, but Gabriel Iglesias, um, also known as Fluffy, uh, he's a Mexican American comedian, and uh, I absolutely love him. Like <laughs> he is really funny. He has a really wide range of voices. I I like that's part of what makes him entertaining. He also like, look. He gets in a car. He does the car sound effect. He skids off the road. He he does the the little e, but like very well done. He can do a female voice. He can do a male voice, like a gruff voice, all that stuff. It's really entertaining to watch him. I really recommend. Like I, I know he has stuff on uh, Netflix. I really recommend watching him because he's hilarious. It's like. He says a couple of stuff in Spanish, but like he also he immediately translates it like. It's it's more like just because it's funny to the Spanish viewers, just because it's like, well, he speaks Spanish, so it's it's just like, it's his reaction to it, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have you ever been on a blind date? Uh, well, no, I've never been on a date. Uh, I, I've been like on a pseudo date, but it was like more like a, uh, not like a blind date. It's like a blind, let's see if these two can be friends kind of thing. That's weird. <laughs> and that's the end of the section. Wow. Well, that was under funny. And then there's a section for uh, conversation starters for kids. But I don't know. Should we do that? Oh, for teens. Okay. Deep conversation starters. Well, what's that about? What are the top three things on your bucket list? Oh, I never actually made a formal bucket list. Uh, yeah, I don't want to answer that because like I, I, don't, I never made a formal bucket list. Like I, maybe there are a few things I'd like to see one day, but like I'm not sure yet. Uh, how do you think you will die? Well, I think I'd replace it with how would you like to die? And to be honest, I, I don't really care uh, the circumstances because like a lot of people I've heard always add. Like, oh, I want to be surrounded by all my family. And, like, meanwhile, dude, you were, like, 15. <laughs> like, you have you have a long way to go. <laughs> I don't really care the circumstances around it. I just really hope that I... At least I think I would like... If I could just die uh, sleeping... Well, not, maybe not even my sleep. Just, like, it, during the day, my window is slightly open. And I could just hear regular noise outside you know leaves rustling a bird singing a car passes by you know just like kind of like a calm world just like i if the world could just be calm for the last three seconds that i am alive i think i would die happy you know that would be a very nice thing for me oh man this is deep i didn't want to do that let's go back to the kids section (laughs) Uh, let's see. What is your favorite letter of the alphabet, and why? 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 (laughs) Um, my favorite letter. Huh. I think I'll say N, because whenever I play, uh, Wheel of Fortune, like, you know, like the Wii version, uh, Wheel of Fortune, also the Switch version, I bought it. (laughs) Uh, I always, whenever it gives you the chance to, like, added a letter I always start with N uh, except for like the last round where it's already included uh, let's see let's see uh, if uh, if someone gave you $20 what would you buy with it ooh 20 bucks well two things like one of two things I would either probably like uh go to the bank and deposit it so I can buy like a game 
online or like a DLC, something like that. Uh, or, or at least with other money I, ca- I have, I would buy a game, something like that. Or you got to like store up to buy something like a game, video game related for the channel especially. Or what I would probably do with it before that is probably just invite my family to to like just just like my mom doesn't have to cook that day like let's just order some pizzas or like hey I'm, let me go down to McDonald's or Burger King and just we're just gonna get some bit some whoppers and, and you know I think that's what I would do with the twenty dollars like I know twenty dollars isn't gonna cover the whole thing but it, it helps you know you know or even at that point like maybe I won't eat just just I'll get something for my grandma and my mom I don't know uh, well, you know, I would do it more often if the universe just gifted me $20. <laughs> uh, let's see. Which one would I like? Uh, your friend is sad. What do you do to feel them, to make them feel better? I would probably just send... Let's say, let, if it's heroin, let's say, I would probably just look up funny Joe jokes. I would just send them weird JoJo related videos until he laughs. Oh, and if it's another one of my friends, I would probably just reference Nacho Libre. You know, it, it all comes full circle. The, both episodes will end the same way with a Nacho Libre reference. Um, let's see. Uh, what is your idea of a perfect playground? Oh, dude. A slide that has like a roof above it. Come on, you guys have to agree with me on this. Like a slide that basically has like a wall on one section and a roof over it so that the sun doesn't just like make it an oven. Admit it, like this is the thing. Steel slides are superior to plastic slides in my opinion, but that just makes it more ouchy on your skin. And this is the thing, I haven't gone on a slide in years. So you can you can pretty much tell that I've been on this stance ever since I was uh, a wee lad, <laughs> until until since I was a wee you lad, <laughs> and yeah, like I think I would just design that first of all, and then uh oh s- swings, but there's there's like reinforced so adults can go on it, you know like adults go with their kids, you know, but I would I would love to have like an adult supported. Uh, swing set, you know, I, I love swings just that I feel like I'm gonna break it and all the kids are gonna laugh at me and like just uh, Some are gonna cry some are gonna laugh and then the cops will come it always ends in the cops <laughs> No officer, I, I don't have a kid here. What am I doing here? I can't a man just enjoy a slide <laughs> Can't a man just get stuck in a slide can't a man just break a swing set? <laughs> Anyway, this has gone long enough, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to... I think I might just pick and choose some more of these. Because I, I kind of had fun with them today. Uh, and let's see what what goes on in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. I've been Night Warden. Don't say goodbye. Say shmalo. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys later. I just want to make sure that I technically stop at a proper moment. Da, 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 da. A, a, na, 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 na. Where do you live? Alright, I'm going to stop. <laughs>